De regreso aquí en Auto 060 en Cristina Radio Network para el último segmento del show de esta semana. Y ahora vamos a hablar del Nissan Leaf eh, 2015 de, 2014 eh, y alguna información muy interesante de este vehículo eléctrico. So now here with uh, Michael Audish from uh, Nissan uh, and uh, we're going to share about uh, some information about what's going on with the Nissan Leaf which is setting up records all around around the world and uh, it has like a new program to learn to let people know more about it. How are you Michael? I'm great, thank you. Yeah. So one thing the the Leaf uh, it's been uh, on sale for a few years already and it's like what uh, almost like 50,000 cars sold here in the US. Yes, uh, approaching 50,000 cars sold in the U.S. and 100,000 cars sold globally. Wow, amazing. And uh, for, a, for a car that uh, a lot of people, uh, not that didn't believe, but didn't know really, right? Because they, this new electrification of the car, it's uh, also not new, but there weren't that many cars available for the, for the regular consumer. Exactly. You know, the Nissan Leaf is really um, the world's first, you know, mainstream mass market electric vehicle on the, on the marketplace and so uh, you know getting a hundred thousand vehicles sold worldwide is, is making it very much a real car uh, with, with, with a large owner base yeah uh, I, I had the, the chance to experience that car last year during the Nissan 360 event in California this event is uh, uh, where you guys uh, bring everything that um, that uh, you build around the world and uh, they had a Nissan Leaf Nismo RC the racing car And to me, that was the most car, most fun car to drive at that event. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that, that's sort of the beauty of electric vehicles. Is, is you know, being an EV, you get 100% torque. Um, we're not, we we push the pedal. Yeah, amazing. So Nissan uh, obviously uh, wants to to sell more of these cars, and uh, you're launching a new program in which uh, you're letting people know more about it, right? Exactly. You know, because as you said. Electric vehicles are still pretty new, and it's a different ownership experience, and it's a different shopping experience. So, you know, we're always looking at ways when people are online that kind of help them make better decisions. So, we, we launched this new section of the website uh, called uh, Leaf Q and A: Real Owners, Real Answers, where you know shoppers can go in and, and search for different questions, but rather than hear the answer from Nissan. They, they can read a response or watch a video from an actual owner and on their experience driving a leaf every day. Wow, that's that's pretty amazing because I mean, it, there's nothing like the real uh, feedback from people who are driving the cars every day. For example, I think I saw a posting the other day on Facebook uh, somebody who owns a leaf, and uh, I understand that Nissan offers free charging at the dealerships, right? Uh, yeah. And uh, she went there into there and uh, the parking lot. Uh, where the charging stations were, they were full. <laughs> She was like saying, <laughs> I mean, we need more of this. Yeah, that's great. And, and, and it's fans like that on Facebook that are so helpful to us because they, they ask for feedback and they provide advice. And that was sort of our inspiration for this program. Yeah. Uh, can you share any, some other, like uh, the most uh, popular questions and answers that, uh, you, that have been posted on the site? Sure. I mean, a lot of people, you know, are, are asking about, you know, what's the drive like? Is it, is it like driving a, a normal car or, or really a gas car? And the answer is, it is a normal car. You know, it is just like any other car you drive. It just happens to be electric. And because, as, as you know, you pointed out, um, because of the way the engine works, um, being all electric, it, it has good torque. It's very smooth drive. Um, So you get really great feedback. And, and there's been um, some really playful stuff of, you know, how far can I go? And, and, we, and we have an owner that his story was so amazing. He, he lives in Hawaii, and uh, he can drive all the way up the volcano um, in the morning, had to see the sunrise, and then because he's going downhill and with regenerative braking, wow. going downhill actually recharges the car on the way back down. Wow, that's amazing. That's a, that's a cool story, actually. I thought you were going to tell me that he drove like from L.A. to Hawaii, but that's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Yeah. So, um, speaking about the driving uh, um, experience of an electric car, yeah, most people, when, when for the moment, they start the car. I mean, they don't hear anything, and some people get like a little bit like, uh, is it really on or not, right? Like, those are the little details that people have to learn about these uh, these cars. Yeah. Yeah, you know, 
and it's how does how does this car fit into my routine, my daily life? And and what's nice is, yeah, it, it sounds different in that initial reaction, but once you get into it, and once you're using it every day, um, these owners are saying it, it it's no different past that sound and, and past not paying for gas anymore. Yeah, and one of the things uh, I guess that uh, a lot of people ask is about the actual charging times, also like the life of the battery. I mean, what what are the answers for those things? Um, you know, I would just say you know, the, a lot of them are, are on the site from the owners, and and really, um, like you know, how far can you go on a single charge? One of the owners, Tom W from Tennessee, says, "Hey, I will say with absolute confidence." we can travel 90 city miles on a full charge. So what's nice is rather than, you know, you know, have Nissan tell you what the expected range is, you can go on that question on the site and get different responses from different owners in different cities, in different environments, different climates. Yeah. Um, and kind of see their experience. Because the official numbers are said to be, I mean, about like 80 to uh, 100 miles, but it, uh, there are a lot of factors, right? Like temperature, how many people are in the car, how fast you're braking and, and, and accelerate and all those kind of things, right? Yes, yes. And obviously the car gives you feedback on, on how to kind of maximize the efficiency. Yeah. So any other like uh, cool different stories uh, at, at the site? Um, you know, it, it's, there's some really good things about usability of the, of the vehicle. So, you know, there's questions about, is it a good car for family? There's questions about cargo space. Can I, can I store all my stuff in there? Um, and owners give really good practical examples. Um, so, you know, I think right now we've got, I want to say, around 40 questions, and we'll probably keep adding more and more over time. Um, it's funny, uh, I think there's 500 quotes now, 500 answers now, and you already have owners reaching out saying, hey, I want to participate. I, I want to provide feedback as well. So okay, so to do updates over time. So that's a great opportunity to for you to tell us exactly how to participate, where's the website, and how people can learn more about the Nissan Leaf. Well, you know, the website, you know, is just go to www.nissanusa.com um, and go to the Leaf section to view, view the Q&A. But uh, really, it's our Facebook page, our, our, our Nissan Leaf community on Facebook, where we're getting a lot of this feedback and collecting it and talking to owners directly. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and uh, one final question. Can you please uh, share with us again the information about pricing for the Leaf? Because I, I understand that it went, uh, when it first went out for sale, it was uh, one price and then it went down, which is unheard of in the auto industry. Yeah, you know... Um, It's something that, you know, I think was a, was a good fit for the market. And obviously now the vehicle being, you know, assembled um, right here in Smyrna, Tennessee, not far from our headquarters. In fact, we have a battery plant right next door. Um, we really kind of have a great story here uh, with that product and the pricing. Yeah, excellent. Well, thank you very much, Michael Adwes uh, from Nissan, uh, talking about the, the Nissan Leaf. And uh, again, everybody who's looking for information about that car, you can visit the Facebook page for Nissan, and we're also going to uh, post it on our own Facebook page so people can learn about it. Thank you very much, Mike. Great, thank you. Thank you, bye. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.